Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm happy to announce that I finally managed to stop my distro hopping adventure. Because I finally found a distro that works very well with NVIDIA. And not only does it work very well, it's right out of the box, you don't need to do anything other than just install Pop OS and NVIDIA version. Because there's two options, there's one without the drivers and one with the NVIDIA drivers. This is how it just works right out of the box, just like that, and you have NVIDIA. Which, well, let's just say uh, I tried quite a few and they didn't really have that kind of support. So whenever I launched OBS, I would have that really, really disappointing black screen. Because when the iGPU is rendering the desktop, you cannot use OBS at all. So that was a big, massive disappointment. Because I really, really wanted to record a couple Linux videos and stuff. And I use a very alternative method actually to do that. I use NDI output. So NDI on top of OBS and then sign over to my computer and then recording from my computer to take the load off the, the laptop. And also because of uh, noise reduction, because I don't have a, an RTX card on a laptop. So an RTX voice is very, very useful when you have like a couple fans going around max speed. So yeah, but essentially, I'm very, very happy with the distro. Honestly, as you can see, the sensors are working just fine. The drivers are working as they should as well. If we, if we go on settings, we check down there on the about section. It's gonna say uh, NVIDIA GTX 8080M, just like I wanted it to, because. Previously, it would say like Intel HD with the other distros I tried, and that was not what I was going for. I wanted the 8080M to render the desktop specifically and not the iGPU, because if the iGPU render, rendered it, even though it's the most logical option, because, you know, lower temperatures and, you know, you don't, you don't really have to use the GPU all the time, but when the iGPU renders, you cannot capture the screen using NVENC, you cannot capture the screen at all using OBS other than just Windows. But the whole desktop, no, nope, doesn't work. So that was my reasoning. And um, as you can tell, drivers work just fine. You can even configure thermal settings and stuff. And, you know, just like you would naturally on Windows. On Windows. Just like that, it works right in the box. Didn't didn't have to do anything. Like literally, you just installed the distro, and it was working. She made me very happy. It's amazing. So yeah, it's quite a short video. Just to just to state that if you have an old laptop that uses the early Optimus, which I think it came out for first time on seven eighty m. I could be wrong. Mine is the eighty eighty m. So it's very early Optimus as well. And it, it was a very, you know, good, troublesome implementation on Linux mainly. It's quite a pain to get working. So having the right distro that works with uh, Optimus right in the box is just wonderful. Because, you know, you don't want to just sit there for hours just trying to figure out how to make it work. It's too much pain, you know, time's money. You don't, you don't. You don't want to spend all that time trying to figure out something you can just you know if there's a distro that you actually just install and it's and it works right the box because of course if there's no other way around that because you know there are situations where you know you have no way out you, you gotta do that it's, it's the only way you gotta figure out a solution there's a bunch of you know terminal inputs and then okay it works after like you know two hours of tinkering but if there's an alternative where you just you know, install the system, you restart the computer, and bingo, it's working just like that. You know, it saves a lot of time. It's wonderful. Amazing, 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 amazing. So, yeah, if you have an NVIDIA laptop, or the Optimus mainly, like 8080M, 780M, 750, 760, 860, 850, and the 9 series as well, I assume 960M, 970M, 980M, and so on, that might as well be the OS for you, honestly. Because it just works. That's the whole magic of it. It just works. And it's very easy to install. If you guys want a video on that, on how to install a proper ass, how to partition, how to do it with Windows, 
you know, comment section is right down below. Suggestions are always welcome. I'm always looking for new content to expand my channel. The whole scope of the channel, because I'm trying to, you know, branch out to other things. I was mainly doing benchmarks and Windows stuff. Now I want to do a little bit of Linux stuff as well. You know, I'm going to keep, you know, improving content wise. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope that was a, a worth your suggestion. If you are running Pop! OS as well on your NVIDIA Optimus laptop, feedback's appreciated down below as well. Take care. Have a great one. Bye-bye.